The truth is out there, some would have you believe. From JFK's assassination to 9-11, there are many who think the reality of our world is being hidden by those in charge. Up to half of all US citizens believe at least one conspiracy theory. Without any credible evidence, why do such thoughts persist? Academic psychologist Rob Brotherton has written a book looking at why so many people are drawn towards conspiracy theories and what the psychological traits of a conspiracy theorist are. Conspiracy thinking is always about there's more to events than meets the eye. So are there certain traits that define a conspiracy theorist? And research reveals that there are certain traits that reliably predict belief in conspiracy theories. So one trait is paranoia. Uh, another personality trait that is associated with conspiracy theories is open-mindedness, or at least a certain kind of open-mindedness, particularly openness to any unorthodox claim, anything that's a little bit off the intellectual beaten path. So people who believe conspiracy theories tend also to believe in the paranormal and superstitions and urban legends and new age ideas. All these unorthodox ideas tend to go together. So one of the things that our brain does best is spotting patterns in the world around us. Taking ambiguous information and, and looking for meaning in it. And sometimes we can connect dots that possibly aren't really connected. And this habit of mind, this tendency to seek patterns can lead us to see a conspiracy, whether one occurred or not. There's another psychological bias that we suffer from to some extent, all the time, which we call the proportionality bias, which is the tendency for if something big happens in the world, we expect that something big must have caused it. The most popular successful conspiracy theories concern these huge events like the death of a president, terrorist attacks, natural disasters, and things like that. Another one of the main reasons people believe in conspiracy theories is something called intentionality bias. So this is the tendency to assume that ambiguous, unexplained events happen because somebody intended them to, somebody meant it, somebody planned it, as opposed to thinking this was just an accident or a coincidence or chaos. It makes sense that we would be a little bit paranoid, that we would be on the lookout for people who mean to do us harm. Sometimes people do mean to do us harm. The tricky part is calibrating our paranoia so that we're being prudently paranoid instead of being irrationally paranoid. From Pizzagate to QAnon, it feels like in the age of fake news that conspiracy theories have become more prevalent online. But conspiracy theories have been popular throughout history. Conspiracy theories didn't take off with the internet or after Watergate or after the Kennedy assassination. But in general, conspiracy talk formed this fairly stable background hum. It is a spectrum. We're all somewhere on the spectrum. Some people believe every conspiracy theory they come across. Some people disbelieve every conspiracy theory. Most people are somewhere in the middle. They engage with conspiracy theories to some extent, some of the time. And so if this is a psychological aspect of how our minds work, it makes sense that it will be fairly stable over time. It's not gonna change that much over a fairly short period of time. 